Lauren Rodriguez with us here in the John Mandola Show. We're talking Carbondale area softball. You are young and you are from Port Jervis. Yes. And let's talk a little bit about like, okay, I want to be a coach. How did this kind of come about for you? So I'm actually one of nine. Um, so I grew up like with my brothers always playing baseball. My sister's always playing softball. Um, and then I really got into it when I was four years old. Um, actually, my high school coach was my coach throughout middle school, high school, and travel. Um, so then just like always like being around him, I knew that I basically, like my end goal was to be like who he was. He runs up recreation back at home. And then like I said, like he was always my softball coach for every level. And then just once I was done playing high school ball, I played college ball, and then the next step was to become a coach. So that competitiveness within your own family, one of nine, that's got to be you know, that pecking order. Okay, hey, I got to do this. I got to, you know, you're going to yeah. do it. That, talk a little bit about, you know, the, the siblings and, and how close you are as a group and what you kind of took from that and said, hey, this you know, I would be a little better than my sister or my brother. Yeah, yeah. So, um, I mean, we're all, like, very close in age. Um, the oldest is 31, the youngest is 14, but it just goes down the line. If you didn't know that we were siblings, like, you would think that we're just a big, like, friend group. We get along like very well. Um, we all just, you know, in the summers we go on um, siblings vacations. Um, some of us take turns like babysitting our nieces and nephews. But like I said, if you didn't know that we were siblings, you would 100% think that we're all just best friends. The competition really was like high. Um, I played basketball, soccer, and softball my whole life. And then once middle school hit, I realized like softball was just what I wanted to focus most on. I actually played in the men's league with both my brothers, Christian and Benjamin. Um, so the competition was real high, like against them. Um, I actually am the first one to ever attend college in my family. So once I knew that, you know, I was able to play college ball, um, I kind of like put the foot down and they're like, okay, like you got it, like you are a better athlete. Um, it's not necessarily that I was the better athlete, it's just, you know, I had that motivation, that stride that anything is possible. And, you know, I wanted to play college ball, so that's exactly what I did. Carbondale kind of known like a blue collar mentality. These young ladies and the, and the, and the guys there at school that they're going to go and work for what they have to get. Mm -hmm. What have you found early here in the, the preseason to say, hey, what are these girls going to do to try to get better? What are you finding? Yes, I mean, so our group really is uh, like, I would say like we're very shy, um, but I don't think that they believe like um, their motivation and their ability. And I remind them all the time, like just believe in yourself, just have fun. Um, and that's exactly what they're doing. I mean, I, I helped out last year and the group just fell apart a lot. We just had two scrimmages and the scrimmages really were just like, we were just well put together. I mean, we fell apart and you know, those, I told them like, you gotta pick yourselves up, just don't fall apart. And that's exactly what we did yesterday. Um, so like I said, like we played on Monday and we just fell apart. And then if you saw us play yesterday, like everything that we were putting in for practices and outside of practice, we do a lot of like team bonding. Um, a lot of communication drills and just like new things like again like as like a, a young um, coach I just was an athlete two years ago so I'm teaching them as well as I'm teaching me and like our competition is there again I don't think that they believe or know how good they are but I really think that I could see us at the end of it doing some good things let's talk yeah. a little bit about building you know you, you hear about it a lot of learning how to win learning how to compete and again you know you lived it with, with all the siblings yeah. they had but um, you know, that confidence component. And sometimes on the young lady end, that confidence sometimes might not need to be where, where you know, where we'd like to see it. Mm -hmm. uh, but you, you got to start with some of the basics, pitching and catching and, you know, being able to put the ball in play. Right, yeah. So talk about some of those those basics of, of hey, you know, we're going to try to find an arm and, and keep it going. Yeah, I mean, like I said, being new at this, um, you know, I have, you know, some seniors that have been playing. Um, we don't have a JV team right now, so even like the freshmen now, they're not on JV, they're on varsity. Um, so just like going around, seeing like what's best. Um, and those two scrimmages really helped us out. So now I know like, okay, like this girl can play not only this position, she can play this one. And realistically, I just have like notes on top of notes. Like the girls make fun of me and so does Monique. <laughs> like I, I have a binder and I just have notebooks. And realistically, it's just like, you know, I'm just trying to figure out what's best for the team. Um, so, I mean, there really is a lot of competition on the team. And I tell the girls, like, you know, like, don't beat yourself up if you're not in the field. Don't beat yourself up if you're not a DH because everyone I need to use, whether you're just a runner or you're just playing the field or you're just hitting, because I have, I have 12 girls on the team, um, and all 12 girls are very important. Well, well said. Uh, you're a young coach. You're going to be as enthusiastic, as positive as you can with them, and hopefully 
build something there at Carbondale area. We wish you the best this season. Thank you.